Good morning, Grade 3 class. Welcome to our recorded video for this week. And for this week in our English tree, we are talking about making a friendly letter. So this one is an example. So the letter is from Miss Florence Cruz uh, from 15 New Manila Street, Barangay Holy Spirit. Sorry, this should be capital N, okay? Then Miss Fat, uh, the letter is given to Miss Fatima Diaz, 35 Sampaguita Street. Lawang Bato, Valenzuela City. So, here's the example letter. Now, notice that this letter has different kinds of parts na i-discuss ko rin naman sa inyo in this uh, video. Now, a friendly letter is always uh, full of surprises. It does one or more of these things. Una, it invites you to an exciting activity like a party or a picnic. Second, uh, it gives you exciting news. And lastly, Thank you for something you have done. Now, here are the different parts of a friendly letter. First one is the heading. It gives the address of the writer and the date when the letter was written. Take note, capital name for the street, city, town, province, and the date. Use comma to separate the town, the province, as well as the date year. Okay? So, kailangan may ka capital siya, tas separated by comma yung name ng street, Name ng city, ng province, and so on and so forth. Example, 42 Sampaloc Street, kama, San Jose, kama, Batangas, date, May 3, 2016. So, naka-separate naka din yun. Another one, 175 New York Street, kama, Cubao, kama, Quezon City, October 26, 2016. Next part is the greeting. It is a polite way to begin a letter. It says to whom the letter is written. Para kanino. Usually, it begins with capital for a proper noun. Now, use comma after the greeting. For example, dear Bob. My dear grandpa. So, capital yung umpisa nila, yung dear and my. Then, capital yung pangalan. Para kanino. Bob and grandpa plus merong comma. Maliwanag po. Next is the body of the letter. It contains the message of the letter. When writing letter, each piece of news or message is written as a separate paragraph. So, pinaghihiwa-hiwala yun by paragraph, ha? Pag magkakaiba na yung laman. Now, the first sentence in a paragraph is indented. Ano indented? Katulad dito. Yan, nakapasok yan, no? Last Sunday, we moved to a new house in Vigan, blah, 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 blah. I know I will be able to make friends with them. So, this one is a separate paragraph. Yung unang word niya and yung unang sentence niya is naka-indent. Pero yung mga sumunod, nakagilid na. So, here's another paragraph. I wish you knew and Kevin were here so we could still play together. Dahil unang sentence, indented. Then yung panghuli, panghuling paragraph, please write soon. Kahit ganyan lang kaiksi yan, paragraph yan. Okay, so naka-indent din dapat. Fourth, we have the closing. Is it, it is a polite way to end the letter. So, opposite to nung greeting. It begins with capital and ends with a comma. Sincerely yours, your friend. So, yun yung mga example. Okay? Nakikita nyo naman yun sa bandang dulo eh. The last one is the signature. Hindi ito yung pirma ng kamay ah. It gives the name of the person who wrote the letter. It is written right below the closing. The closing. Like, sample, your son, Charles. Your niece, Charmaine. Sincerely yours, Ruby. So, the name of the letter sender. Okay, so those are the different parts of a friendly letter. Goodbye, grade 3.